2010 Honda Accord aftermarket condenser. The body man actually came out to me and stopped me before I started and told me he had a problem putting in the fittings. And so, of course, I do it anyway, but I immediately jumped to putting pressure inside the system, dry nitrogen, got 156 PSI, used leak detector, and no problems. But their other problem was they got a very kinked line down here, right there. That is unacceptable, but it is on four weeks back over, uh, back order because of all the problems. Actually, they're gonna replace both lines and uh, they can't get the line. Now, I don't do line repairs anymore or makeup fittings and anything like I used to because it became not worth it because cheap guys in town would do it for cheap and so I'm not gonna compete with the bottom of the barrel. You ever hear, if you wanna fly with the Eagles, you can't be, what is it? You can't be walking around with turkeys. And uh, so I refuse to be in that group. Um, so, we are charging this up with a severely kinked uh, liquid line he straightened it out a little bit better than what it was and to get the customer some air conditioning even though that's nice nice and good I'm gonna have to take a temperature drop across there and make sure it's not too kink because we don't want to starve the system uh, don't want to have a compressor drop but it's summertime four weeks no air conditioning not gonna happen and uh, yeah waiting for a part and the insurance company is not gonna want to pay so, too bad, insurance company. All right, that's it on this one. Just uh, having the body shop guy uh, warn me about the aftermarket condenser having a problem fitting it in place and concerned about leaks. That's uh, looking out for the customer. All right, see ya. Oh, and by the way, this is supposedly one of the better lines of condensers from this distributor in our local area. They asked for the better one. And usually if you ask for a condenser from a distributor and they have like a premium line, a platinum line, uh, like OEM, but then they also sell the cheaper condensers, always ask for the better ones. Pay that little bit extra more. Sometimes you do get something that's close to near OEM and okay. Sometimes you don't.